Waters, but overall a much better day. 74 degrees. Sunset will be at 558 in the evening. Now let's get to business here. Here's the severe risk we have as of now. Now, if you remember on Friday, we were talking about a marginal risk. So for Sunday morning, a little bit of a higher risk at this moment. So we're still running the risk of isolated damaging wind gusts and a tornado risk across our area. Here's the way it's playing out. We still have the shear in place, just like Friday. The big difference is going to be we're expecting a stronger low pressure system to move through this area, and it could be closer to us, which would allow a little bit more lift and possibly some more instability into the atmosphere, which would really help some of the storms get going. So it's going to be a big question mark yet again, similar to Friday. We're just not going to know until that low pressure begins to form in the western Gulf throughout the day on Saturday. So just be tuned. It's going to be an overnight event. That's what I want to stress, too. Have a radio. Have a plan just in case. You want to be prepared, especially since this is an overnight event. It's then right in here. This is what we sometimes call a donut hole. Very clear signature here of where this rotation is. And again, this is about a minute or two old. So this is likely right on the coastline here. So again, uh, St. Armand Circle, Lido Key, like we just said, Gulf Gate Estates, uh, let's see, um, Siesta Key, South Sarasota near B Ridge. This is literally right on top of you right now. If we can get to the velocities here, you'll probably be able to see uh, the new notch I'm talking about here. And there's a very, I mean, very tight rotation here. Uh, yeah, right here. But this little change in color here is that's likely where any tornado is likely right now. So again, this is about a minute or two old. So if we translate this down here, Siesta Key, it's again right on top of you. So if you're listening to us right now and you're in this area, just you should not be. You should be in your safe zone right now, interior most part of your home, taking shelter, and I went away from windows. No one should be looking at this storm outside. You should be indoors in the interior most part of your home, away from windows, away from doors. Uh, that's again, this storm is just it's very well, we'll start off with our sky cam really quick and we're looking towards downtown and it's kind of hard to get a glimpse because the winds are actually gusting pretty high in downtown. Uh, radar is suggesting that just above the surface, not exactly at the surface, but just above these buildings here, there are wind gusts up to around 50, maybe even higher. Now down towards the surface that correlates to around 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts and you can definitely see the effects here on our sky cam. Now in terms of the radar, the winds are coming from this particular cell that just now moved through uh, Sarasota Springs, just south of downtown Sarasota, but there's a little bit of an edge here in downtown. But overall, the heaviest is just south of Sarasota, moving just east now of downtown. So we're trying to clear out here closer towards the coast, uh, but this cell here, this is moving just east of I-75, Fruitvale Road, right down the road. Uh, B Ridge, just east of I-75 now. Uh, this is where we're going to see some very gusty winds. We also have another cell that's moving down Cortez Road in West Bradenton, uh, down towards South Bradenton, Bradenton, uh, down towards Bayshore Gardens. Uh, some gusty winds with this as well. 40 mile per hour winds possible here as well with some heavy rainfall mixed in there again. So we're watching all this down here and also down towards south. Don't want to forget people down south. Venice, Englewood, Northport, Rotunda. We're dealing with some heavy rainfall as well. Gusty winds also possible. We're not seeing too much in the way of lightning. A few lightning strikes here and there possible, but overall just the heavier rainfall and is going to be for us mid to upper 40s across a good portion of the area to around 50 degrees. Of course, up, up towards the north, we're talking about the uh, below zero temperatures. Uh, yeah, very cold up there. Temperatures tonight, here they are, mid to upper 40s across, especially our northeastern zones inland, to the upper 40s to around 50 degrees near the coastline. So again, a pretty chilly morning on tap, a little bit of wind also. So maybe by the time you wake up, there could be a wind chill ranging from the low 40s to upper 40s across the area. So again, turning off the AC and bringing out the blanket is a go. Get ready to do it for tonight. Temperatures for tomorrow, pretty nice in the low to upper 60s. A little chilly if there's a little bit of a breeze left over, but overall still a nice day with sunshine in place. Drop coming down cool. the eastern seaboard means cooler air for us. Fantastic. All right, temperatures today in the mid-70s. Again, a little bit more sunshine than yesterday, about a 20% chance of rain. But again, as we go into the evening, we'll all be clearing out and we'll see a little bit more sunshine. All right, Thunder by the Bay is our special event for this weekend. Thinking about going out there, well, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. Again, can't rule out that chance of a few peaks of sunshine. So again, not too bad. The rain chance, again, a little bit lower than expected compared to yesterday, but still there. And if you're expecting to go out late in the day on Saturday, have the umbrellas handy. But by Sunday, the front begins to move through. We have a little bit of wind pickup afterwards. 
and we'll be clearing. So a much better day on Sunday, especially in the afternoon. All right, chance of rain early on Sunday. Then look at Monday, 65 with a low temperature of 54. Oh man, oh man, I like the forecast here with temperatures in the 50s for lows and highs in the 60s for a good string of days. We're watching that pretty closely again. Right now, I'm staying in the 50s. We could see some 40s, but the models have been having some difficulties nailing down the forecast. So until that happens, I'm sticking with the 50s, which is pretty